today we're going to look at something completely different. We're going to look at Malian music. Now, the, the demographic is completely different. So, um, Mali, you have the, um, the Mande Empire, okay, M-A-N-D-E, Mande, and it's a completely different language group, completely different ethnic group, so completely different musical style, as, as you would probably imagine. I think the Malian Empire ran until something like maybe the 1500s, something like that. Um, the, the first emperor is called Sundiata Keita. And if you look on the map and you see West Africa, um, you know, to, the, to the west of Mali, you have Senegal. Then below that, you have Gambia and Guinea-Bissau and Guinea-Conakry. And as you travel then across back east, you've got Ivory Coast uh, and you've got Burkina Faso as well. And the, the Manding Empire spanned all of this area at, at one point in time. There, there's a lot of Mandinka influence, um, and you've got different Mandinka tribes, some, sometimes with slightly different names in these countries. So in Mali, um, it's the, the Bambara. Okay? So in Senegal, they call themselves Mandinka or Sorse sometimes. In Ivory Coast, it's Jula, not to be um, confused with the Jola in the south of Senegal. This is Jula. Uh, and they speak very, very slightly different dialects of the same Mandinka, Bambara language. So, yeah, so we're going to look at an artist from Mali uh, called Habib Kwate. Okay, I'll spell that second name. It's K-O-I-T-E, Habib Kwate. Habib Kwate is the guitarist and lead singer and composer. So... In a sort of huge contrast to all of the other stars we've looked at, this is, you know, we've got acoustic, um, we've got percussion, which is not like the kind of sort of full kit that we see um, with with some of the Congolese styles. They're not electric guitars, they're acoustic guitars. You know, there's, there's two guitars there, and they're both playing acoustic or, or semi-acoustic guitars. You've got electric bass, and then you've got balafon. Cool. So the th first thing that I find really interesting about this song is we've got this. Um, you you could I guess you could probably write it in in three four. It's like one two three one two three. But the clave is going over the top of that. It's going like bat 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 bat. Which it's kind of like. It's got the beat and then it's bouncing off the beat and it just it's it's interesting so you tr just try and clap that with me so get your your foot tapping on the one two three one two three and it's bat 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 and one bat bat You got that? And last time. So you can feel that equivalent really. There it is. Two, three, bat, 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 bat. Cool. Just, you know, like, like in this example where they're playing a D minor. Then they then they want to play it basically it's a minor but with an e in the bass and the way you can figure that out is if you if you try and play along to it if you if you think oh it sounds like e minor try and put it in the fifth of b you'll you'll hear that's not the correct fifth so then you know that that e you're hearing is not the root it's another note of the chord and in this part it's the fifth because it's a so we've got d minor a with an e in the bass c major and then D minor again. Once more, D minor, A with an E in the bass, C major, and D minor. Okay. D, A, A, C, C, A, A, C, A, 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 D, 
A-A-C-C A-A-C Pulse is going da 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 It's kind of like a da 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 but that's the way I feel it to get those notes in. Ba 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 and what's very interesting is the there's a little guitar lick that takes you out of the intro. The, the guitar lick's doing the same thing, and then it goes ding, do, 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 ding. and you you kind of if if you're playing with bands, if you know if you, if you're not familiar with the material, uh, or you're playing with singers, you don't know. You've got to get used to listening to those melody instruments. Um, because okay, we've got uh, B, that's our chords A minor C. So if a melody instrument was to play a D, okay, that D is not going to fit so well over the C or the A minor. So we can kind of maybe our ears can guess when it lands there that that's when we move our chord progression to D minor, okay. It's like that's the cue. In Mali, they often, not always, there's many variations of, of how it's done, but would use the third mode of that pentatonic scale. So instead of, so we, we keep our same notes A, C, D, E, G, A, yep, and the same notes above, but instead of starting on our A and rooting around the A, we root around the D. So we still have. But we're centered there. What that means you know, we, we're resolving here, we're landing on D, but our first interval is is that D to E is only a tone. It's not like our free fretted um uh, pentatonic scale, okay, that we use a lot in blues. So that's what sounds really interesting because we, we're, you know, you've got that same scale, but yeah, we all, it's always da da da. It might be here, and then we always want to lead back to the D. It rests. Put that back on, and you can just sort of you know, experiment with that harmony. You know, that's a scale.